Carbonaro effect. Well, hello there. It's Michael Carbonaro. Thanks so much for watching the Carbonaro effect tonight. This is the after effect. I'm gonna answer some questions about the episode. Thanks for writing those in. Let's get started. Ella writes first and she says, has anyone ever not let you leave the room like that woman almost did with the rabbits? Oh my God, I'm literally freaking Don't be out. freaked out. Can I get my boss for a second? Because I'm going with you. I'm not staying here. So it's not just, I didn't see it the first time. I didn't believe you. I was like, what? That was funny that she didn't want me to walk away from her. So no, that was kind of a first that that happened like that. Usually I'm trying to do the scary ones and make sure that they stay enough to like react and not just leave the premises. Otherwise I'd have to have cameras all over the whole world. Um, okay, Alex writes in saying, are you a fan of cheese balls? They're so good. What is your favorite snack? Um, I'm a fan of cheese balls. You know, the idea of them I like. They're so good. My favorite snack is peanut butter, and I like to eat it with a spoon. Just dip, dip it into the jar and then whap it to blueberries and eat it. Like, peanut butter, blueberries, eat it. They stick, it's an amazing snack. That's my favorite, thanks for asking. Happy to share. I'm gonna write a cooking book. Ari says, this season you sometimes refer to people as marks. What exactly does that mean? Oh, that's true, I did say marks in this episode. Okay, man, this is the play today. We're at the Navy Pier. Trying something new. We have two marks that are both gonna arrive separately. I'm gonna give them both security guard jobs, but with very different responsibilities. I think they're heroes, really, and you know this from watching the show. The best part of the show is watching the person react. So they're, you know, they're heroes of this piece, even though I, marks is just, uh, it's just a term. It's just a term we use to know what we're talking about. But yeah, marks, people, them mocks. Uh, Vanessa says, the statue trick was unusual for you since you were mostly behind the scenes. Is that something you want to try more? Miss, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to leave the, the pier. We're always looking for ways to evolve the show and try new stuff, and that was really fun, getting to kind of, I just wanted to see what would happen if I put two people into, into the arena together who didn't even know that either one of them was being fooled and uh, I wasn't there to help out. We're gonna have to ask you to go to the front. Oh, my things are back here. Well, you can get them afterwards. What, what happened? Hey, Susan, I heard a little whistle blowing. Is everything okay? I'm told I have to leave the premises. From who? From another security guy out here. Another security guy? Ask to see his ID. Um, so yeah, I would try that again. I mean, anything to try something new and get a reaction. I mean, yeah, and I, I do like being behind the scenes too, so that's fun. Why you wanna be on the show? Who wants to be on the show? Right in. Um, Maggie says, which trick of yours was the hardest for you to master? That's interesting. The statue one was really probably the most complicated one we've done uh, as far as just seeing if it would work, but they're all complicated. They're very complicated. That's the last question. That came that came abrupt, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for uh, for writing these in and write some more in at hashtag Ask Michael Carbonaro on Facebook and Twitter, and I will see you next week. Bye. Carbonaro effect.